Let's move on to our big story, and this time I mean it literally big, big, big. 6.4-inch smartphone. Is this a smartphone or a tablet? Remember, at 7-inch, it is a tablet. But at 6.4, is it a smartphone? And the debate is really because this time they really cracked it. This is the Sony Xperia Z Ultra, and it's ultra in every which way possible. Ultra thin, ultra light, very, very well-made phone. But really, it's 6.4 inches. It's thin enough and light enough, and like I said, thin enough to hold very easily in the hand, especially for me. But still, unwieldy as a phone, or is this really the next big thing in every which way? Well, our review will reveal all. A smartphone, a tablet, and for many people, this may even fit the bill as a small portable multimedia device. This biggie fits in all the categories you want it to. The Sony Xperia Z Ultra with a 6.44-inch screen pushes the boundaries of what a smartphone can really be, curbing the need of buying a phone and a tablet. The design language of the Ultra is the same of the Xperia Z family including the phone and the awesome Z tablet which undoubtedly hits the high end of good look scale. The Ultra is huge when we look at it but it is impossibly thin at 6.5 millimeters. It is very light too at 212 grams and sits more comfortably in the hand than we thought. The 6.44 inch Full HD Tri-Luminous display is stunning. The Ultra boasts of a 334 pixel density resolution while Samsung Mega which sports a 6.3 inch screen comes with only 233 ppi. The screen is indeed beautiful, sharp and very very crisp. To add to all this goodness, the waterproof and dustproof element to the Sony Xperia Z Ultra is obviously the super add-on bonuses. Powered by Android 4.2, it is the first handset from Sony Mobile to launch with the latest version of Jelly Bean. Interestingly, if you rotate the phone from portrait mode, even the home screen changes to landscape mode, giving you a perfect tablet experience. As a phablet, the Z Ultra will work with a stylus. While it doesn't come with one, the smartphone's display is capable of taking notes using the built-in handwriting recognition tool. You can use any aftermarket stylus. At the back is an 8 megapixel camera with no flash. The front camera is 2 megapixels. Powered by a 2.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 quad-core processor and a 2 GB RAM, it is blazing fast. Faster than many smartphones and tablets present in the market. The Z Ultra's 3000 mAh battery is non-removable, but with 3G, quad-core and full HD screen, it won't last more than a day. The Ultra is priced at 44,000 rupees. Cell Guru Verdict The Sony Xperia Ultra Z is a great device that bridges the gap between a phone and a tablet marvelously. While we do appreciate the great work by Sony, we're still not sure whether we should call it a fantastic phone or tablet. The 6 inches and above smartphones have become quite a trend, but will they eliminate the need of a tablet? And is this even a size of consideration for a smartphone? While the phone companies may certainly think so, what does the other end think? We decided to find out. People are preferring carrying phone because they are doing the same thing on phone what they are doing on tablet. So there is no point carrying two things together. Companies are really trying to find out what the customer wants. And to be, today, customer wants bigger screens where which they can read and do many things together. The six and smartphones, are actually, they're not eliminating tablets because, see, like, tablets people use for very different purposes, okay? Their, their purposes, like, people play games, they watch live shows, they do a lot of things with tablets, okay? So, like, phones, basically, like, trust me, like, six inches for phones, they're more of a show off. First of all, the size matters. Mobile phones should be handy and tabs have a different utility.